Good morning from South Fork State Recreation Area in Northern Nevada. Mm-hmm. We're here by Elko, Nevada, um, right off the 80. Yeah, kind of uh, not really by our choice, but we have absolutely loved this. This is maybe one of our favorite campsites we've had all mm -hmm. year. Uh, we had to come to Elko to get our windshield replaced on the bus. It was the closest place that was willing to do a uh, motorhome glass for us. Mm -hmm. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. This year we're living off-grid in our motorhome full-time, adventuring up the U.S. from the Mexican to Canadian border. Over the weekend, we went on a little Nevada road trip and drove over Harrison Pass in the Ruby Mountains to Ruby Lake National Wildlife Refuge. The wildlife refuge was in a beautiful valley on the opposite side of the mountain range from where we were staying. But going up and over the mountain pass would have been worth the trip alone. It was so beautiful with snow-capped mountains and wildflowers already springing up. So this is another great Nevada State Park and as you know we purchased the pass months ago and mm -hmm. so if you choose the dry camping option here it's free with the pass. I think it's 10 or $15 a night depending on if you're a, a Nevada State resident or not if you don't have a pass. Yeah. And there is a uh, electric hookup campsite across the lake on the east side that is 25 or $30 a night. Um, but even if you have a pass, you still have to pay $10 a night for electric, even if you have solar. <laughs> yep. They said that it's not the choice of theirs here at the campground. It's made higher up. And if they you're at an electric site, you have to pay for electric. Yeah, such a bummer. Yep. <laughs> so we're over here on the dry camping side and it's been fantastic. There's a dump station, there's water fill, um, it's been super great. Yeah, the east side is the full hookup, or not full hookup, is the power only uh, campsite. And then we're on the west side, which is the dry camping. And I think the west side probably has better access to the lake. We're able to just drop our sup boards in right from our RV site mm -hmm. anytime. And the east side campsite's like up on a bluff, which it has pretty views, but it's very steep to get down to the water. Yeah. This is the west shore of South Fork State Recreation Area. The dry camping side is split into two campsites, Coyote Cove and Jet Ski Beach, both with unlimited waterfront access and plenty of room for large RVs. The west shore seems to be popular for fishing and boating. So on our drive here, we went through snow. Like you saw last week's video that we weren't prepared for the snow and it continued to snow the next day as we drove north up here to Elko. 
Um, and it was interesting. 95 degrees yesterday yeah. on the complete opposite end of our trip. So we are definitely in the shoulder season here. Uh, they're just putting the docks in. They're just opening up like the pay booth at the entrance. Mm -hmm. So it, we had snow on day one and day 13 yesterday was 95 degrees. Yeah. Crazy. So the other day, as some of the rangers were driving through the park, we heard a rumor that in December, Nevada State Parks are going to be switching to a reservation system, at least up here and a couple other places. I know that it's already been done, they said down south. Uh, On recreation.gov. <laughs> yeah. The, instead of being first come, first serve, it'll be reservations only through recreation.gov. Yeah, which, which breaks our heart. Mixed feelings about we get, but like people have been reporting, there's so many people that have booked campsites that don't show, and like there's little to no consequences for doing so. So it's yeah. pretty common as we're seeing as we're staying at some campgrounds. Uh, but it's interesting how the park systems are evolving in the states as we go north to Idaho and Montana. All of theirs are on recreation.gov. Yeah, I know that they have some that are going to be first come first serve spots, uh, but we'll see how that works. It's going to be new, so it'll be interesting to see how Nevada changes next year. We've been really lucky to have all these first come first serve incredible state parks in Nevada. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we found them. It's sad to know that it might not be here for us again in the future, but I'm glad we got to do it when we could. And we're just shifting gears a little bit for Idaho in the height of summer. We've started to make some reservations because we don't feel confident that we'll be able to get first come first serve spots enough places. Yep. We've been in Nevada since we got to Las Vegas and the Lake Mead area, Valley of Fire State Park, and it got pretty hot and sent us north, and we've been through snow and heat and rain since, but we're on the very northern end of Nevada, and today, we're adding a new state. Yep, we're heading north to Idaho today. Yeah, I'm excited. Twin Falls will be the destination. Yeah, let's do it. Yep. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. 